the Bloodhound's Fang is very easy to get right out of the gate, as it's just right over here in the Lime Jail. You will need to pry it from the warm, dead hands of the little Debbie Rolls, so prepare yourself for a fight. He is weak to lightning, so check out our other guides for that. But once obtained, you can likely run it the rest of the game if you're going with a quality bill. It is a very strong curved greatsword that can't be given an Ash of War, but can be buffed and enchanted. It hits with a very nice 4-hit light combo, a 2-hit heavy combo that, if you charge the heavy attack instead, becomes a 3-hit heavy combo. But the coolest feature, and the one I'll likely get flack for mentioning, since I am apparently single-handedly responsible for ruining the meta, encouraging spammers, or enabling weebs just by telling you the facts about the sword. The coolest feature is that its weapon art, Bloodhound's Finesse, which feels similar to Dynast's Finesse in that it spins you away from your target and can be chained into a heavy attack that launches you forward, but this time you launch forward with Bloodhound's Step. Unlike the Ash of War Bloodhound's Step, you really can't spam this to dodge around like an annoying thing that's annoying, since you need to do the weapon art first each time. But the same trick that worked for Dynast's Finesse works here too. Don't lock onto the target, but aim away from them or be running away from them, then hit the L2 to spin towards them instead of away from them. Then follow up with an R2 to dash forward into a heavy attack that covers an unexpected amount of distance and can catch so many people off guard. It takes a bit of practice to get the timing right, so you'll need to practice to get it off reliably. But even if you don't use that particular trick, you're left with a great sword that can be buffed to fit any situation.